What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Everything TV, and so I'm coming at you with another IRS stimulus video. Um, you guys seem to be liking some of it. Listen, uh, I'm not a tax expert by any means at all. I uh, just want to throw that out there. First and foremost, I'm just going off of basic knowledge and common sense, kind of, of how and what you should be expecting. Um, so this in today's segment, I'm going to be talking about stimulus checks as well. Obviously, that's what we're here to talk about. They're here, ladies and gentlemen. They've been here. You are going to get everybody. Listen, so pretty much from all the stuff I've been gathering, everybody is going to get their stimulus check this week. This week, everyone is going to have their stimulus check. Your stimulus check will be here. You can also, a big, 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 big tip for you guys is that if you guys have them, call your banks. And if this works for you, please let me know in the comment section down below if this method works for you. I want you to call your bank and you speak to someone on the phone and you say, hey, do I have any pending direct deposits? If you have a pending direct deposit, then you guys are good to go. Your checks are going to be there. Obviously, ask for the amount. But yeah, if you guys have a pending direct deposit, then your stimulus checks will be there this week, guaranteed. Comment in the comment section down below and uh, let me know. Um, everything I'm gathering up is that we should have them this week. Um, you know, because if, if we don't have them, if you guys don't have them this week, the outcome is more than likely, just more than likely, you're not going to have them for about <clears throat> one to five months if you don't. So we need to get on this um, as well as use the app. Uh, the app is meant for you to upgrade your, uh, not the app, excuse me, there's no app, the portal for your direct deposit is meant for you to upload your direct deposit. But from what I'm hearing from a lot of technicians and technical website developers is that that website is indeed going to crash. It should crash due to heavy, 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 heavy consumer usage. And they're, they're prepared for it, but it is going to be down probably the first day. That website might be down the first day. So do plan on... on, on, on trying to be up early to use the, the website the irs portal but do also plan on it not working because it's going to be massively overused by the consumers um me you know being you people <clears throat> so you guys need to understand that that portal might not be working um you need to be ready for that because if it you know if if you guys didn't get it this week the chances are you are more than likely going to have to wait one to five months for a paper check. And the IRS plans on sending about 60, another 60 million or something like that this week. So if you didn't get it in the first batch, you should get it in this batch. And then after this batch, they're working on Social Security and SSDI, uh, SSI and SSDI. Those payments are coming next. Um I know it doesn't sound fair, it doesn't sound right, but the system has to keep moving. Uh, it has to keep moving. It's it's going in order. It's going in the way of the package. The package is broken down into deals. So that's that's pretty much what's happening here. Um, we all just, I, as I've been saying, we just got to keep being patient and wait for it. I know it's hard for a lot of us who are waiting on these checks, who are depending on these checks to pay bills. Uh, once again, I will advocate, as always, in each one of my videos, if you are struggling to make any payments on any bills, if you lost your job, and in any, any situation that you guys are struggling financially, 90% of the companies out there are working with people, gas companies, electric companies, water companies, rental companies. Rental, if, if you are renting a home and you are being evicted, you, you cannot be evicted. If you're being threatened to, to get put in the streets, they cannot threaten to put you in the streets because all rent, all rental evictions and property evictions are seized. Um, you know, that's that's all I could really say about the financial situation as well as extensions, obviously, on water companies and gas companies, all that stuff. They're all really giving you time to work with. Another big thing I want to talk about is rent to own. I've been reading a lot of stuff about people from rent to own. Uh, or a rent -a center or all these companies are getting their stuff repossessed. Uh, people are harassing them. 
they're they're taking stuff from them. They're threatening them, saying, hey, you know, I'm sorry, but we need our stuff back if you can't pay. Listen, I do want to let you guys know something about rental properties as far as um, uh, like TVs and shit like that. You know, shit that you rent from like rent to own or rent a tire, rent a wheel, all that shit. They cannot forcefully make you give up anything and the police cannot forcefully make you give up anything. I did some research with this and I spoke to an attorney because I've been reading a lot of stuff about people saying, well, I put, uh, you know, $1,500 made all these payments on a couch and this company is not working with me. And I'm not going to name a specific company. I'm going to say the, the trio of companies, Rena Center, her, or Rena Center, um, errands, uh, buy here, pay here companies, just like that. Those types of companies, buddies, financing, all those type of companies. Those companies might be able to use scare tactics against you, saying they're going to call the police and this and that. Listen, the police will not do nothing. The police will show up to your house and they will say, this is a, this is a, uh, this is a dispute for the court. This is, has nothing to do with, with with legal matters with that the police can be involved this is a dispute this is a dispute between you and that person and the court so you have to take that person to court they can call you as many times as they like they can they can threaten you they can say whatever you don't have to give your stuff up until you're ready to work on this is a collection debt this is a collection dispute this is a debt dispute this is a personal dispute they cannot harass you guys. So if you guys are struggling, first of all, in my opinion, you should never get involved in those agreements. Those agreements are horrible. I mean, you end up paying two thousand, five thousand dollars for a college that's worth eight hundred bucks. Don't ever get involved in that stuff, guys. Uh, you know, if you do have so much invested and you're gonna be paying it off soon, that was your intentions and you're doing good, and the companies will not work with you. Don't answer their phone calls. Change your phone number. Don't answer the phone calls until you guys get back on your feet. They can threaten you all they want, but the police will not get involved because it is a court issue. It is a personal debt. It is a personal contracted agreement from you and that person. So I hope that helps you guys because I don't. I know I've been reading a lot of stuff like, man, these people are coming to my door and I, I, I'm behind three payments. And they're like, okay, well, you got to give the shit. No, uh, don't do it. Now, when it comes to a vehicle or something like that, it's fair game because repossessions are pretty much dumb repossession their shit so they have the right to repossess it um so if it comes to rims or tires you guys are kind of on your own about that i mean it's the same concept but yet again rent a center can't break in your house and take your shit they can't it's illegal if your car is parked in your driveway they a tow truck legally can go tow your car it's that simple so um make sure but, but the car companies it seems like the car companies <laughs> are are more working with us than the than everybody else the car companies seem to be working with people more banks mortgages all that stuff so just just giving you guys that extra daily advice you know that you guys might need <clears throat> as well as trying to help you guys out with the stimulus checks but stimulus checks are here more than 60 million americans are going to be getting this this week so be prepared remember call your bank and see if your bank has any pending direct deposits if your bank has a pending direct deposit it will tell you we will be getting our stimulus checks today or not today well some of us will. a lot of us might be getting them today but this week's stimulus checks are going to be coming out and if you didn't get your stimulus check this week then you did something wrong or you didn't do it fast enough i mean not nothing wrong i wouldn't say wrong but there was something impeding the process of you getting your stimulus check today all you need to do is follow those steps guys make sure you guys do it when the portal comes up upload the portal Upload your direct deposit. Maybe they don't have to send a paper check, but you're going to be stuck behind another wave. But you won't have to wait the five months that people are going to be waiting for the paper checks. Now, if you know you have to wait for a paper check, then you can be a little bit, not discouraged, but one to, one to five months is going to be the actual process for that to actually take place. Um, so, yeah, guys, I hope you guys find this useful. A lot of people got their, their uh, stimulus checks, and I'm very happy for them. Uh, I know there's a lot of people in need right now for this money. A lot of people. And I and we're all in this together, guys. You know, I'm bringing you this news, and you guys are listening, hopefully. 
and making something out of it and you guys are one step closer to getting your check but remember if you you can check this stuff oops <laughs> you can check this stuff through um the portal guys you guys can check where it's at through the portal so if you haven't got it make sure you go look through that portal when it comes out on the 17th and track it i'm not sure from what i'm reading you, you put your information in and you should be able to track this stimulus check see where it's at where it's in, at in the process and put your direct deposit guys so that's that's it for now for uh everything tv and some bringing you the latest daily stimulus package update until we all get our stimulus checks we're all in together guys remember stay safe and stay happy peace